Mississippi is recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentlelady from the great state of New York, Nicole Maliotakis. The gentlewoman from New York is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. We've heard uh, from my colleagues the reasons why uh, the representative Omar should be re removed from this committee. Uh, and, but I feel like all the reasons have not just yet been stated, which is why I rise to add for the record. Um, we've heard about the comments that were made regarding anti-Semitism and anti-Israeli views, but I rise to add to the record that uh, as a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I've sat there and heard the representative actually spew anti-American rhetoric as well. I've been in that committee room where the representative equates Israel and the United States to Hamas and the Taliban. Absolutely unacceptable for a member of that committee. I've also heard the representative equate that it is the United States' fault that there is turmoil in Venezuela. That is not because of the oppressive socialist and communism that has spread throughout Central and South America in Venezuela at the hands of the Maduro and Hugo Chavez regimes. That is unacceptable. And as a New York representative, to hear the representative belittle, to try to diminish the worst a terrorist attack on United States soil on September 11, 2001, as some people did something, that is unacceptable as well. And I hold the same standard for this side of the aisle that I do the other. Because when another colleague on my side said something about 9-11, I also voted to have her removed from the Education Committee because I thought that was inappropriate. So I'm being consistent here, and I hope my colleagues will do the same to show that this is about consistency and accountability. Because we should not have an individual with those views on the committee that is tasked with representing our country and our Congress to foreign nations. I yield back. The gentlelady yields back.